All right, before we get started, let me just jump right in and show you this thing working. I'll talk about the temps we can get out of this thing, and then I'll do a quick talk through and show you how I put this thing together. Okay, here it is running. Looks good. Good. Everything's good. Already getting cool almost immediately. There's the watt reading with two of them. Adds about an extra 100 watts. Just to be clear, this isn't like a full room cooler because you got the hot and the cold air, and those just recombine in the room eventually. So the room stays the same temp, but if you're right in front of it, you're nice and cool. So pretty simple design as you can see, just the two 80 millimeter fans hooked on with duct tape facing up into the heat sink to cool the bottom part of the chip. And then the top part's the cool side, so you just use a couple of heat sinks like this to make a cube. That's 40 by 40 by 20 millimeters each, makes a perfect cube. These are also 40 millimeter just naturally, so it drops right on there. And then I bought the 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter by 20 millimeter thick fans, so it all lines up nice like that. To connect these on again it's just duct tape wrapped around and then I got double sided sticky tape on the cardboard for the fan and then down to the heat sink. Right now I don't have anything on the chip or this but you can use the thermal glue or the thermal tape on these if you want to. Since the heat sinks are literally like laser flat and the chips are flat you don't need to use that and you won't burn a chip out but you can if you want to. Again, everything's 12 volts. Those two fans, the two chips, and the two fans in the back all goes to a 12 volt power supply. Either a standard one like this that you can plug into the wall, or you can just hook this to 12 volt solar panels or like a 12 volt deep cycle battery. So, works great on or off grid, a lot of cooling power, and you're good to go. So just to be clear, it's not a room cooler, like it won't cool the whole room because it's just splitting the air into hot air and cold air. So if you sit right in front of it, use it as a space cooler, that's the way to go. Then you'll be nice and cool. And most of the heat's just going to go off and up to the ceiling so you won't feel it anyway. And if you want, you could direct that out of the room with piping. 